We have wonderful news and major changes to Mattel Creations exclusives that'll blow your mind and have collectors jumping for joy. And before we dive into the news, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to the latest news, reviews, and episodes when they drop. I first have to say, Larry, you're awesome. Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to Toy Habits News. I'm Michael and with me is my collector in crime, Larry. And it's Mo Tuesday and funny how that comes back around each week and Grizzlor and Wondor are the highlights today. Yeah, this is actually a cool news day. Uh, oh, sorry, a cool Mo Tuesday news day. Yes. Because yeah, that doesn't sound weird at all. No, um, the thing. yeah, no, these these are cool announcements. I'm, I, this is the kind of stuff that we should be getting, you know. Yeah, totally. And let's check out the news for Grizzlor first. And Grizzlor will be going up for pre-order starting September 9th, which is my birthday. Thanks, Mattel. And Happy there's a new you, twist. Michael, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's a new twist to Mattel exclusive pre-orders. Yeah, this looks like a pretty cool setup. So so I guess so the idea then is that they're doing a pre-order for the first day, which will probably sell out in, what do we think, a couple of minutes? Probably. Is that, I mean, that's probably the, the consensus. I would guess that it sells out. Although maybe with this new structure, it doesn't sell out that fast. Maybe it lasts for half an hour. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but so you've got that, that initial... Uh, you know, data order, and then a, a second batch will be made based on whatever sells over the next two days after that. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, and it sounds like they're really listening to fans. I know we've made comments, several comments in live streams and just talking back and forth on these news briefs just around doing things like Super 7 does with made-to-order pre-orders so everybody gets one. Yeah, I think this is ideal because, uh, for one thing, it's, it should take some of the stress out of ordering that first day. Maybe it cuts down on people using bots and all that crap to to purchase extras to sell. This, to me, this is ideal. It's it's just it's great. You know, obviously, yeah, maybe it sucks if you have to wait an extra, I don't know, three months. Who knows? Maybe six months to right. get to get the uh, to get that in that second batch. But if that's the case, then you know you get to enjoy pictures or whatever, um, see some reviews and stuff, and and uh, just let the excitement build for a little bit longer, I guess. Yeah, and then at least you get one, so that's awesome. And in shocking news that came later in the day, Mattel is making a second production run of Wondar, also made to order, making amends for the Wondar fiasco when he first went up for pre-order. Yeah, I mean to me this this. Uh... I, I I like this. I think, and I'm I'm somebody that spent you know 50 bucks on eBay buying one. So I mean, and this doesn't. I mean, it's I guess it's slightly frustrating, but at least they're listening. And if they do this kind of stuff moving forward, then again, it takes that stress out of that initial order, um, and you just have to be patient. Yeah, and I, I like that they're giving a big window for the yep. pre-order, and it's not a day or you know, nine hours or so. It's just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a ton of time. I mean, you know, that gives you plenty of opportunity to get in there, get your order in. Um, and, and this is cool because it gives them a way to, to judge, like, for future sales. They, they kind of know what to expect on yeah. this stuff, you know, as far as how many of the sales they're going to get over those three days. Um, and if it gets rid of, uh, of all those people you know, grabbing extras to put on uh, eBay or, or whatever, then, you know, it's, that's great. Yeah. So hopefully the scalper gravy train will be over at least for Mattel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No doubt. I mean, I, th I think it's one thing to, to buy, you know, to buy an extra to hold on to, to trade later, yeah. or if you've got something 10 years later, I don't have any problem with that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think, I think buying, you know, five of this and, and uh, you know, selling a bunch of them or whatever, um, yeah, I, I, hopefully this kind of cuts down on all that stuff. So. Yeah, it doesn't sit well with the community, that's for sure. So let us know what you think of the Mattel Creations news and if this might change your opinion of Mattel Creations exclusives moving forwards in the comment below. I'm Michael. And I'm Larry. And thanks for tuning into this Toy Habits News Brief.